Initially, we had almost 7,000 security guards uh, in the over two, is it 2,500 uh, companies which were registered, but th uh, the, the authority only found 183 being, uh, 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 able to operate in, Kenya in, in, in terms of uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, complying to the, the regulations. Yeah. How has that changed the landscape? Yeah, I think a lot, and it's still in the process of changing. I think, it's, first of all, it's a good thing because if you uh, introduce the system of licensing, uh, you create clear rules. And I think when it comes to security, it's very important. Yeah. Uh, discipline, but also how to operate, etc. Uh, so for the industry, in, in a broad sense, I think it's a good thing. You mentioned some numbers, but uh, informally, before the registration started, people were talking about more than 4,000 security companies. Okay. And, uh, between half a million and a million people employed in the security sector. Mm -hmm. So that's quite a lot. And, um, and if that's not regulated, and many of them uh, actually, mm -hmm. they would not follow the rules. Uh, uh, you're, you're talking about issues about uh, mm -hmm. uh, minimum wage, taxes, yes. mm -hmm. quite a lot of diversity. Mm -hmm. And for instance, if you don't pay a guard the minimum wage, is he going to protect you? Uh, so those, those rules uh, have been established. I, I believe now there's a bit more than 500 companies that are registered and licensed. Uh, that is not a guarantee that you have uh, the top and supreme mm -hmm. uh, services. Uh, we at SGA, we, we, we look at, uh, at, at the security uh, from a very high, high end standard qualities. We have uh, ISO 18788. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't mean maybe too much for, for the big audience, mm -hmm. but that's the highest standard of security provision in the world. And it's not only about the technicalities and the quality of service, but it's also about human rights. It's also about code of conduct. Mm -hmm. It's also uh, about international governance. How do you deal with each other, taking care of communities? Mm -hmm. So it's not only the client that you're looking at, but you look at in, in a broader perspective. Mm -hmm. So um, the, those standards we, we, we apply. So in all honesty, although the PSRA process was a lengthy process, it was, you had to comply a lot of paperwork, a mm -hmm. lot of things to be done. Mm -hmm. But we feel we are much more than just licensed uh, uh, according to the standards. And yes, it will evolve over time. Uh, you have to start somewhere, but, uh, but I think the way it's done, uh, uh, it, and it I think it's good, it creates now. clarity. Yeah. And